Hey guys, welcome back to Mousetrum Game Studios. I'm Craig, and today we're gonna go through a little bit of a discussion now that GW has basically confirmed that a balanced data slate or points update will be coming at the end of the month. Maybe early next, the first week of next month, but it's coming three to four weeks from now. So as Tyranids, there are some things we'd like to see go up. Uh, I don't think, or go down in points, down in points. I don't think anything should be going up in points. Maybe there's a few things we could talk about, but we're going to go over that stuff today. Just have a little bit of a thoughts, what you, what I think should change realistically. And if you guys have stuff, you can put it down in the comments, of course. So if that all sounds good, do like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our content here at Maelstrom Gaming Studios. Members, again, thank you as always. And maybe if you guys want to become a member, check out the links down below. And let's dive into today's video. So again, GW has said when they started 10th edition that they're going to do a points update every quarter of uh, the edition, and they said every six-ish month they're going to do a balanced data slate. Now there is some back and forth going around if it was technically starting January every six months or starting when they did their first balanced data slate every six months. So there might be one coming a balanced data slate there might be just a points update a difference with balanced data slate that's where we're going to get more rule modifications or changes if need be points are just points so we'll talk about some point changes here and we'll go from there so for me realistically there is a lot that could be trimmed down um, a few big things that need to be taken down but uh, the out of the character section I think both the winged and foot tyrants could go 10 to 15 points down a little bit, and that would be fine. wouldn't hurt anything. Swarmler needs at least 30 points chopped off of his profile. I could see plenty of places people arguing for more, like 40 or 50. I think start at 30 and then keep working down. They haven't given, given him a points cut yet, uh, and he obviously needs one. So start at 30, I'd say, and go down from there. The Parasite of Mortrex could use the 10 to 15 points. She's a great utility unit, but paying 80 points for it is a bit absurd, especially if you're playing Invasion Fleet. Maybe you want to give it Synapse. A loan op Synapse is very powerful, so I get why they don't want to make it too cheap, but you still have to pay for the enhancement. So this thing is expensive uh, if you want to play it the best way, so 15 points would be fantastic there. Also, Simulation Swarm would love to have cheaper Parasites. Uh, other data sheets, a lot of these are, you know, 10 to 20 points chopped off. Hive Guard, at least 10 points chopped off of them. There'll be 100 points for three, which is not outrageously cheap by any means. Their damage output is eh. Uh, but still, 10 points would help. Uh, Neuroelectors need to go back down. I know they got a 15 points bump, and maybe a little bit of points bump is good, but... We need Neuroelectors to do well in the damage portion of our army, so dropping them by 10 points would be fantastic. It would save us 30 points on three of them, or at least 20 points on two. Uh, I think the Assimilator still needs to go down 20 points. It's 290 points. Uh, yes, you could look at some other factions that have some things that maybe need point increases, like, say, the Catan. Catan are around 250, 250, 260. They obviously need to get bumped up to, say, 300 but still there's no way you could compare a norn assimilator to a katan at that point at the same point level so i think these guys 20 points get them down around 270 would be a good start uh speaking of the norns the emissary again she could probably see another 10 points i am hesitant to make these guys too cheap obviously you could say oh yes let's make them 225 points or something that yeah, that's going to get nasty because the people, everyone's going to run two or three of them, which will be cool, but is that really what we want? I mean, yes, some people, that's what they want. Uh, but I would say if you drop 10 points, that puts them at 265. That's probably a decent point for them because while they are super bulky, they are they, they hit like a wet noodle in melee. So, yeah. Uh, the Psychophage, I'm going to always ask this, 10 more points off of it. Not that it's got any yet, but would be great. It doesn't do anything in melee it can if you play against gray knights or thousand suns it can do significant damage uh, realistically it doesn't in most matchups so 10 points so it can be a cheaper support bug 
Zoanthropes, another one I'm a little hesitant. I know they're one of our only reliable anti-tank units, but taking 10 points off of them would be good. I don't want to go too much because then we're going to get into the an era of just, okay, here's 18 Zoanthropes again, which is not what we want. We want them to be a little bit cheaper, I think, but not, uh, not absurdly cheaper. And the falling units could, if they, these ones, uh, saw, you know, five points shaved off of them, I wouldn't complain. Do I think GW will go through and shave five points off all of these guys? Probably not, but it would be nice. Tyrant Guard would be good. Both Warrior variants could maybe use at least five points cut off of them. Barb Gaunts would be nice. At 60 points for them is fine. 50 points, you could argue is too cheap, so let's try 55. And the Turvagon, again, she's in a weird spot because she is pretty bulky. Uh, she has some good support abilities if you're playing with a ton of Termagons, but at the same time, she just doesn't do a ton, and you're paying 190 points for support, which is good support. Don't get me wrong, it's great support. I just played with Mind of the Swarm a ton, and I I did value the benefit I got from the Turvagon, but I just 190 seemed like a little bit much. So with all these point cuts, I did say I think I wouldn't be shocked if there were a few point bumps. Uh, but not much. I really don't think GW, GW needs to go crazy with this. And I don't anticipate they will. Uh, but I could see the Exocrine and the Horus Vex and Malice after all getting bumped up 5 points. Maybe 10, but hopefully not. Uh, because if they go any higher on this, these they are really just going to counteract the point decreases where we can get to these other units. So I just a little bit. A little bit of points bumps I would expect, but I'm not... I don't want them, right? I think they are pretty well balanced, what they are. The Horus Vex does awesome melee damage, but relatively speaking, he's kind of squishy. Same with the Exocrine. Uh, great shooting potential. Squishy Malice Scepter, good shooting potential. Not that squishy, but you are paying a premium for that invone save. So that's those. Now, if I can make other changes, so those point changes, if I can make balanced days late changes, I think, so these are probably less realistic but i think they're good at what would help the tyranids out a lot because currently we're sitting at like 45 percent plus or minus really like 44 percent plus or minus one or two depending on your source so i will say this again till they fix it and they probably won't but many many units need plus one strength tyrants for sure gene stealers and the Norns are the big examples that they're all sitting at one strength lower than where they should be to be pretty effective. Uh, you could argue Hormone Guns in there too, but that gets a little... I don't know. I think they'd be fine going up to strength 4. Uh, there are plenty of additions in the past where they were essentially strength 4, if not better, depending on the rules you could give them. Now there's no buff you can give Hormone Guns, so a whole bunch of strength 3 attacks is really meh. Uh, but yes, strength increases would be fantastic. I just don't see them doing that, really. Stratagem re reworks. Now, this one is more likely. There are two stratagems specifically. Uh, of course, I don't have my codex on me, so I can't pull them up. But there are two stratagems specifically that I would love them to rework. One of them is in Crusher Stampede, and one of them is in Vanguard Onslaught. Uh, the basis of the strat, it says, you know, use the strat, your opponent must take a Battle Shock test, if they fail it, then this effect happens. I would love for them to reword that and say, if so, if they fail the battle shock test, or if they were already or previously battle shocked this turn, then the effects happen. Because what's the point of using all of our battle shock shenanigans if they have to, if they're already failed, and they have to take another test? just to see if the strat actually does its full effect. I think that's it's stupid. Um, it's probably an oversight. I doubt they really meant for that to happen that way, but probably an oversight. I would love for them to change it because they're really good stratagems, especially if those bonus effects go off from failing or already, hopefully, already being battle shocked. So, yes, I would like that change. I think that's a realistic one, but who knows? Uh, detachment changes. Obviously, Crusher Stampede needs something. Um, it's just the enhancements are useless on it. The faction abilities are okay. I mean, plus one to hit is very nice on a lot of things. 
plus one to wound is very nice, but you're only maybe getting one turn of the plus one to wound. So I don't I I have yet to totally figure out personally how I would change Crusher Stampede. I have a lot of thoughts in mind. Maybe I'll do a video at some point on it, but just for, for fun, uh, for theory crafting. But I would, in a dream, I would like some change to Crusher Stampede. Really, what I look at as a basis is something along the lines of Ironstorm, Spearhead. That would be awesome. Uh, something like that would make monsters very powerful. Who knows? But that would that would be my one of my dreams. And then some miscellaneous changes. Again, Psychophage. Change the attack profile to just flat 6. None of the D6 garbage. Just change it to flat 6. And then Rippers. This is a, little, this is a niche one. Uh, change their unit size to be anywhere from 1 to 6. Even go up to 9 if you want to. Uh, but I have so many Ripper Swarm bases. I can only bring 9 of them in a game. And sometimes I try to in Assimilation Swarm. But if I could bring a big block of 6 Rippers in Assimilation Swarm, that would be hilariously fun because that will allow me to extend ranges of healing and pull off shenanigans and yes it might be a little expensive 120 points for six of them uh but yeah that's uh eh, eh, it we'll see so that's pretty much it for changes i would make i know some of these are more uh dreaming than others though i think a lot of the point changes are realistic to be seen uh, and who knows, because we are in that lower um, bottom five codexes and we're teetering on that 45% win rate, they might see it and be like, all right, Tyranids, here's your point cuts, bump you back up, and maybe it's enough to take Tyranids to the top. Do I think Tyranids, with just these straight point cuts, are going to be revolutionized? They're going to go straight up to a 55% win rate? No. No, it's the... The thing holding the Tyrants back is not really the points, it's the core rules. So if we do get a bunch of these point increases, all it will really do is allow us to have one more unit in our army, which will allow us, you know, that one extra unit can do a little bit extra to help us win maybe a few more games. Realistically, it's, it is a lot of the data sheets that are holding us back more than anything. So that's what I got. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And we'll see you next time here at Maelstrom Gaming Studios.